Good morning, students. Today, we are going to read about Heku poems. So basically, these are three-lined poems and it often focuses on the images of nature. These poems are written in the pattern of five, seven and five syllable count. Now you must be thinking, what is a syllable count? So when we pronounce any word and if it breaks into different parts, that is known as its syllable count. So once we will go into the detailed discussion of these uh, things, you will come to know. Let's read. Heiko is a Japanese form of poetry. Traditionally, the poems had a nature theme. But these days, they can be written about a variety of subjects. So, in the earlier times, the themes of these poems used to be nature. But these days, they can be written about a variety of things. Not only the uh, nature theme, but there can be so many other themes. There can be so many other things on which we can write these poems. To write a haiku, you must understand syllables. So, what are these syllables? A syllable is a part of a word that has one beat or sound. For example, dog. If we pronounce this word, we say like this, dog, in one go. There is only one syllable, that is dog, only one beat. There is only one beat or one syllable. But if we see this word, crunchy. We use this word or we pronounce this word like this, crunchy. That means there are two syllables or two beats. Elephant. Elephant. That means there are three beats. Elephant or three syllables. So these are known as a syllable uh, count. A haiku poem has three lines and follows a pattern of syllables. The first line has five syllables, the second line has seven syllables, and the third line has five syllables. So in Heku poems, we have three lines. In the first line, there are five syllables. In the second line, there are seven syllables. Syllable is the count of words, okay? And in the third lines, we have five syllables. A haiku poem does not rhyme. It does not have a rhyming scheme. Let's look at an example. The leaf falls gently, floating down towards the ground, crunching underfoot. I repeat, the leaf falls gently, floating down towards the ground, crunching underfoot. So it's not rhyming in any way. But we have the syllable count here that I'm going to discuss with you now. Look here properly and see. The leaf falls gently. The leaf falls gently. That means five. Similarly, in the second line, we have seven syllables. And it goes like this. Floating down. In floating, how many syllables we have? We have two. Floating. In word down, we have just one beat, that is down. And in the next word, that is two words, two words, we have two syllables. The, it is only one. And ground, we say ground in one go. We do not say like ground, no, we say ground. So it has one beat only. I repeat. The leaf falls gently. Gently, two syllables, okay? Similarly, floating, two syllables. I say floating, that means it breaks into two parts and it has two syllables. Down towards the ground. Crunching, C R U N, C R U N C. H means crunch. Crunch. Ing, crunching, two syllables. 
under foot under is one and foot is another so it has a, a pattern of five seven five another example is the wave rises high crashes down onto the rocks gone but still alive now here how many syllables we have the is only one wave rises rises high crashes down onto the rocks gone but still alive you can break the words and see the count of the syllables that we have so the heku the heku poem depends upon the count of the syllables we have the pattern of five se um, seven and five remember a heku does not rhyme it does not have a rhyming scheme has three lines only and follows the syllable pattern five seven five so this is all about heku poems thank you